Blacko drops the throw against a four-man rush. Now he moves around. He's going to get sacked again. The Jaguars got him again inside the 20-yard line that time. Another three and out. Calais Campbell was in the middle of it. And they're going to have to punt it away again. We're joined now by, uh, this, this is my world, defensive line coach Marion Hobby. Yeah. We're going to talk a little defensive line and the difference between games and stunts, okay? okay. Tell us what, what a game is, first off. Okay, well, we usually use our games as a form of rushing the passer. You know, it's kind of more in the against the passes. It's more of a, an upfield charge, mm -hmm. trying to get the offensive lineman off, a, um, off their base and kind of get them uh, moving around. But it's mostly for the passing game, trying to get to the quarterback. And there, there's kind of two main games, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. when it comes to pass rushers, when you're talking about two-man games. Right. The ET and the TE. Yes, you know, those are the ones that have been around forever. And those are the, the TEs, the tackles first. Mm -hmm. ET, we make it easy and simple for our guys. The E, that the end is first. Mm -hmm. And um, just let them be more aggressive and they can kind of know by what side they're on, which, we, which one we want. Okay, so uh, we're going to look at some game film from the London game against the Baltimore mm -hmm. Ravens where we've got an ET on the left side and a TE on the right side. So draw it for people so they kind of get a a visual understanding on the, on the drawing first, and then we'll look at the film. Okay. You know, one thing we want to do is um, all these games are basically set up off of your, your own individual ability. You know, uh, we got some good defensive ends, guys who can run the edge, got some guys inside who can really push the pocket. So, you know, like I know, once you, you know, you know, get all that going, then you can kind of get in the game. It's kind of like the pick and roll mm -hmm. of basketball. That's exactly right. You know, and yeah. so we like to get it. So. We, to the, uh, they say the TE, what we want to get here, we want to do, we tell these guys, you got to be great salesmen first. You got to sell what's your best rush. You know, on the film there, you'll see a uh, tech, um, a TE. Well, with this guy right here, we're telling him, and hey, we got to sell that guard that we're just a one-on-one -on -one rush. We want him to think there's a one-on-one -on -one rush because we know in this level, or any level, those guys, you can give it away with your eyes, you can give it away with your movement. Mm -hmm. So we tell him, hey man, you gotta sell that guard that you just a one-on-one -on -one rush. And but then we tell that um, at the end, man, you gotta sell that tackle. That's right. That you're a one-on-one -on -one rush. Well, it never works. So he's one to take, we wanna keep our, we have to work them a lot because we wanna keep them in sync. You know, it's kinda like two big fellas dancing. They need to be on the same page on what they're doing. He's showing his vertical stem, and once he hits about two steps up the field, he's wrapping around the three technique, which is the defensive tackle to the eight gap. They're actually switching responsibilities. So in that's that where, where the T, he's first up yes. the field, E is under, so T-E. Yes. Yeah, T-E, you know, that guy's first, that guy's second. Okay, now on the other side, it's gonna be the other way, the E-T. The E-T, where the end is gonna be first. Now we're telling this guy, hey, still again, be a great salesman. Sell the speed rush, second step, you coming underneath the tackle, okay? We're still in, hit in this situation, in the tackle sometimes, he's gonna sell like he's going on the inside rush. Then once he puts his hands on him, he put, comes around for contain. So he's still first, and if we need doubt over here on either side, we wanna try to pick the hip of the guard mm -hmm. next to him. So right here, if that tackle can go and get up the field and pick, then he'll go out and pick that tackle. He'll pick his hip. The guard on, the, on this side, the end will come up, he'll come underneath, then he'll pick the guard hip. What we're trying to do, like I said, pick and roll in basketball, just trying to get, you know, just quick rubs mm -hmm. right there to get one of those guys free. All right, well, let's uh, take a look at some game film and okay. see these executed. Let's focus on the right side. This is okay. the TE side. Yes, I think uh, the 93 Calais does a great job of selling that guard that he's just a free rusher. And then he comes up, you can see him right there, pick the tackle's hip. And then you can see the end, taking his two fast uh, speed steps up the field, coming around on the knee to the A gap. Basically swip, switching gaps, responsibility, but look at the timing that they have on it. And it's, um, that's a pretty good one there. And on the other side, there's the ET, and an excellent job by Dante of selling the upfield to the tackle and getting underneath. Yes, perfect, you know, he, boy, he's still been a great salesman you know, sticking his foot in the ground like you know, it, it doesn't work if it doesn't. And then uh, Malik does a great job of selling that guy that he's going, he's going to rush the A gap. And then that guard just kind of steps his eyes in there, kind of brings his body in there, and boy, it's just enough to get him clean. 